Attention, all true believers. Marvel Comics is on the air. Of the world's greatest comic magazine come the adventures of the Fantastic Four. This week, we shall witness in vivid detail all of the amazing events that led up to the explosive moment when the Fantastic Four met the Incredible Hulk. In another second, just two more steps, I'll destroy them. The Hulk was really our second creation for the Marvel Comics group. He's had his own series for almost as long as the Fantastic Four. If you've never seen him, he looks kind of like that fella over there, coming out of New York City's Philharmonic Hall. That's not the Hulk, of course. That's Ben Grimm. Oh, Ben, isn't Beethoven's fifth the most beautiful music you've ever heard? If you say so, Alicia, honey, but personally, I really get off on some good old down-home boogie. Look, my dear, a company of infantrymen right here in the city. My word! Hey, watch where you're shoving. Don't raise your voice to me, young man. I was trying to see those troops. <laughs> a monster! And now you're insulting me. I'll show you. Ben, what are you doing? So you want to see the soldier boys, do you? Oh. Uh, well, have a good look, compliments of the gang! Hey, Captain, you see that? A big character just lifted that guy like he was a feather. And pull him down real gentle. He could be the one we're looking for. Surround him, man. Don't let him get away. Ben, what's happening? I don't know. But you better stay back, honey. I'll handle it. Watch out for the girl. It looks like she's blind. <laughs> Would you look at that? He tore the fire hydrant clean out of the street. Okay, let's take him, man. Are you guys all nuts? Brushing his attacker carelessly aside, the mighty thing throws himself on the powerful jet of water. This sort of cool you guys off for a while. Causing it to spray in all directions, scattering the nearby troops. Put on your masks, boys. These gas bombs will stop anything. <laughs> Recall your men, Captain. You've made a terrible mistake. This is not the man you're looking for. And just a few minutes later... Ben. Oh, Ben, darling, are you all right? Uh, 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 oh, sure. Takes more than just a whiff of gas to put the thing out of action. My apologies, Mr. Grimm. These men mistook you for the Hulk. There's a national alarm out for him. What? And you thought I was that brainless lump of lard? Oh, well, that crummy... Oh, Ben, he's trying to apologize. Thought it was the Hulk, did you? Can you control him, ma'am? Come on, honey. Let's get out of this craziness. As if being a thing ain't bad enough. Now those hamlets are thinking I'm the Hulk. Ah! I wonder why they're looking for the Hulk. The bum's probably up to no good, as usual. Oh, what's that sound? It's the emergency flare. Calling me back to Fantastic Four headquarters. I'll have to take you home now. No telling what those clowns are into these days. Taxi! Hey, taxi! Then, after seeing Alicia safely home, Ben Grimm arrives in the lobby of the Baxter building. Oh, no. I must have lost the Duma flange that opens our special elevator. Oh, well. We've been needing a new door anyway. Without the special beam, the elevator won't go down to street level. But it'll just take me a few minutes to climb this cable up to 35 flights. I gotta talk to Reed about keeping one of them beam jobbies down by the doorman. I wonder if the Hulk has something to do with that call to headquarters. Almost halfway there. Well, well, here comes Loverboy. How was your date with Alicia, Romeo? Bah! Doesn't look like you're in too good a mood tonight. What's wrong, Ben? I'll tell you what's wrong. And it's a lucky thing I didn't smack a few crack army heads together. Then, after Ben has told his tale... And that's it. Can you imagine those lunkheads thinking I was the Hulk? Next, somebody will be mistaking me for Frankenstein. It's quite a coincidence. We've all gotten together here on a mission that involves the Hulk. That's right. General Thunderbolt Ross is coming to see us about some of stuff. That's probably him now. I'll deactivate the entrance lock and let the elevator down. Oh, say, Reed. How do we even know there is such a man as the Hulk? 
I've never seen him, and you've never seen him. General Ross says he has. Oh, here he is now. And this is the staging room where we plan many of our missions. Reed, I'd like you to know General Ross. Glad to meet you, my boy. This is my aide, Captain Nelson. Nelson? Dr. Richards. Is there some place we can talk in private? I have no secrets for my three associates, General. We can speak freely here. Well, first, and I guess everybody asks you this one... What ripped out the door of your special elevator and left that pile of rubble in the lobby downstairs? What? What are you talking about? Oh, uh, Reed, I've been trying to tell you. In that riot scene with the army, I must have lost my special beam to open the elevator. So when I came home, I just ripped the door right off the wall. Now, we'll have to work this out later. Now, General, what's this about the Hulk? This alert that we have out on the Hulk lists several ways of recognizing him. One of which is his superhuman strength. Superhuman strength. I could make mincemeat out of him. Well, you may get your chance. Here's a photograph of him. But he's all green. The gamma rays, you know. Looks like a pretty tough customer. He sure ain't no beauty prize winner. What puts him at the top of your hate parade all of a sudden? Several of our missile installations in the southwest have recently been sabotaged. And from the looks of it, only the Hulk could have done it. So when do we come in? I'm here to enlist the help of the Fantastic Four to find and destroy the Hulk. We're ready with the slides, General. Oh, good. Uh, these are some of the more recent shots of the Hulk. Uh, they were taken by an automatic camera in the sighting device of a special cannon. Well, if we're looking at him, I guess he must exist. He looks so big. And this is the same cannon after the Hulk finished his savage onslaught. Oh, he's just the most terrifying creature I've ever seen. You got nothing to worry about, Sue. He may be the big, brainless, rampaging Hulk, but there's only one thing. You probably won't have a chance to get close to him. No matter where he goes, I'll enclose him in my circle of flame. Glad to hear such enthusiasm, men. And don't forget, Stretcho will be right behind you. Looks as though I'll just be going along for the ride. <coughs> a pretty young lady like you, Miss Storm. Uh, you keep the men's morale up just by being around. That's just about the way we feel about her, General. But don't you think the human torch is a little... Well... Young for such a dangerous mission, Dr. Richards. Who, Johnny? Don't let his age fool you, sir. His flame is one of our most potent weapons. And, of course, his mechanical skills. In fact, let me give you a little demonstration. Right on, Reed. Just this way, General. Captain Nelson. Johnny has just completed restyling the fantastic car. Very impressive looking. They don't build them like they used to. I felt that the old design was too restricting, and this revised model can do a lot more. Tell me, what's your top speed? Hooray! Sorry, sir, all that's top secret. But a speed would surprise you. With this new fuel Reed is working on, we'll be able to extend the range of this baby to just over 3,000 miles. That's enough to take you clear across the continent. Stop yakking and show the brass how the four sections disengage and fly separately. And remember, that's my idea. As a matter of fact... Why don't we use the fantastic car and fly to the missile area? General, we can take you and Captain Nelson with us if you'd like a lift. Well, we'll be delighted, my dear. And a few hours later... Those jet props under each small wing certainly keep the ship flying smooth. Here's something else that you haven't counted on. A rainstorm. Not to worry, sir. At the flick of a switch, the windshield rolls over and forms a transparent, waterproof, and bulletproof shield. Nelson, make a note to tell Army Ordnance about this. Yes, sir. And within hours, at a secret Southwest missile base... Down there you can see an example of the Hulk's work. That used to be Dr. Bruce Banner's favorite project. Now it looks like what was left of that elevator door. But how can you be sure the Hulk did it? Look at that tangled steel. Who else could have the strength to do that? <laughs> well, uh, with perhaps one exception. Immediately upon landing, General Ross and Reed Richards are called into a high-level conference. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Reed Richards representing the Fantastic Four. How do you do? I'm Dr. Bruce Banner, civilian scientific exec on the base. This is my assistant, Dr. Carl Court, and my young helper, Rick Jones. Hello? Hiya. How did the Fantastic Four propose to catch the Hulk and stop him? That's the kind of talk I like to hear. Action talk. Now let's plan our campaign. But, General, I still don't think the Hulk's responsible. All of our missile apparatus was destroyed from the inside out. I'm convinced that a rampaging creature like the Hulk would have torn the devices from the outside in. The Rick Banner, our mission is to get the Hulk. We'll listen to your theories after he's put out of action. Now, let's you and Mr. Fantastic put your heads together. It'll certainly be a pleasure working with you, Dr. Banner. I've been an admirer of your atomic research for many years. That's quite something coming from a man with as many scientific achievements as you, Dr. Richards. Well, I can see you gentlemen won't be needing me for a while. I think I'll get back to work. 
Hey, Shorty, how much longer are they going to keep us cooling our heels here? Ah, the Archer! Smarter, ain't you never seen a thing before? I'm getting fed up with you guys doing double takes every time you see me. I'm getting out of here. This guy's gone crazy. You'd be crazy, too, if you was made out of rocks. Look at him go. <laughs> you probably scared that poor guy out of a year's growth. Yeah, and from the looks of him, he can't spare it. Look, all you're hassling me, that poor man drop his wallet. I'll get it. I've been wanting to try this flaming lasso ever since I dreamed it up. Not bad, either. I didn't even singe the leather. I'm sick of tired of waiting out here. Okay, you guys. Hey, uh, here we are. Holy oh, gee, hoss up. What's going on out here? Go to attention. Head, hunt. All of you, that's an order. Oh, if you people weren't civilians, I'd have you all in the guardhouse. Easy, General. They didn't mean any harm. They're here to help us, remember? He's dang stupid right, soldier boy. And if we take off, who's going to get that Hulk creep for you? So far, Loudmouth, you've done nothing but talk. Looks like maybe you're afraid of the Hulk. What? Afraid of the Hulk? When I get my hands on that drum, I'll rip him to shreds. Oh, no, the big ape ruined my bound set of code books. Of all Easy that. there, General. You've just got to watch what you say around him. Do a fine kettle of fish this is. I've hired a set of blasted prima donnas. Mr. Fantastic, if there's something I can do to help you find the wrecker, let me know. The wrecker? That's our name for the saboteur. You see, we're sure it's not the Hulk. Hey, uh, Rick, I found this wallet. Uh, I think it belongs to Dr. Banner's assistant. Hey, George, watch what you're doing. <laughs> Thought I'd burn you, huh? No, see, I can douse the flame in parts of my body at will. Boy, you're just a barrel of laughs, ain't you? I can also vary the intensity of both flame and heat. Oh. He wouldn't act like such a big shot if he knew I was the Hulk's partner. Later, unseen by the others, Rick Jones and Bruce Banner enter one of the many underground tunnels, this one known only to them. Rick, it looks like it's up to us to find the record. That's the only way to prove the Hulk's innocence. Gosh, if we could only take the Fantastic Four into our confidence. Whoever the wrecker is, he's concentrating on destroying my research and making it look like the work of the Hulk. Oh, I almost forgot. Johnny Storm gave me this wallet to return to Carl Court. I'll meet you back at the lab. I sure hope the Hulk doesn't appear while the Fantastic Four are here. They might be too much even for him to handle. See, what's this card sticking out of Carl's wallet? It looks like a membership card in the Red Cycle Club. I gotta tell a Hulk. He'll know what to do. So, you are in league with the Hulk, are you? Huh? Well, well. Now I'll be able to take care of him as well as Dr. Banner's Project 34. So, you're the wrecker. That's right, my little schnoop. But it's our own little secret. Thing, get out of there. That rocket sled isn't ready for testing yet. It's got some bugs we haven't ironed out yet. I've licked those problems for you, General. Relax, Napoleon. I'm an accredited test pilot, and I've always wanted to ride one of these kitty cars. That's out of the question. I just checked the track rails and welded a few weak spots. There's the green light, Reed. Whenever Ben's ready. Okay. Let her rip. Uh, this is highly irregular. That sled wasn't scheduled for testing until next month. That was before the Fantastic Four got here. Things got her up to 50 Gs. That's impossible. Nothing can stand that kind of force. He'll be flattened like a pancake. I don't think so, General. Through these glasses, it looks like he's having the time of his life. But from underneath the tracks, two strange prongs reach out and... Hey, what's with those tracks up there? Yeah! Quick, torch. Hang on, Rockman. The human torch is on the way. Ben is caught in midair by the torch and delivered safely to Earth. And a few minutes later... You're okay, big fella. Everything's under control. But your people, they ruined our rocket sled. Are you crazy? That thing was sabotaged, Bubba. I saw it. Look, here comes Dr. Banner. I need your help. Rick Jones has disappeared, and I'm afraid the wrecker has him. We were looking for you, too. Someone has just ripped up these tracks and nearly killed Ben here. This must all be the work of the wrecker. Wrecker schmecker. It's the Hulk we want, and we know it. No one else is strong enough to twist those tracks. And when I get my hands on no, him... No, it can't be the Hulk. I just know it. But, Dr. Banner, I don't understand. What proof have you? None. Bah! You've just got to believe me. But we can't just give up our mission without... It's no use. Wait. You must have more to tell us. Why won't you speak? What are you hiding? How can I expect them to believe me when I can't show them the proof? But how can I possibly show them this note? Does it hurt? Rick Jones is my prisoner. Unless you remove the fantastic four from the area, you will never see him again. Sign, the wrecker. 
Minutes later, in his secret underground laboratory... There's no way I can remove that foursome from the area in my present condition. It's time for me to again activate the only machine on Earth which can duplicate the incredible rays of the gamma bomb. For although Bruce Banner cannot cope with the Wrecker or the Fantastic Four, there is one who can. It is time for for the Hulk to walk upon the Earth. Meanwhile, the sinister Carl Court, who has also discovered the many underground catacombs beneath the desert testing site, is leading Rick Jones, his teenage captive, into a chamber directly beneath his own laboratory. Just keep walking, kid. I live in a place where no one will ever find you. We're not going to get away with this, man. No matter where you stash me, the Hulk's going to find you. That doesn't affect me. I shall do away with the Hulk as easily as the Fantastic Four. Here. This shall be your new home for a long time. Possibly forever. Don't bet on it, Pops. Others also know of the dark, rambling tunnels. One of those others is the Hulk. The Fantastic Four are sure to be around here somewhere. But they won't be around at all when I'm through with them. This is better than I expected. It's, it's them. Coming right towards me. I had a hunch there were tunnels under the rocket sled run. The Hulk must hide down here between escapades. Where could he be? I'll go up ahead and see if I can pick up his trail. I sure hope we find him soon. I'm just itching for a tussle with that overrated creep. I'll crush you like a flea. It's the Hulk! Having the element of surprise, the Hulk strikes the first blow. Oh! Oh! It's like hitting a stone wall. So you found him, huh? The flaming one. And moving with unbelievable speed for one so huge, the Hulk scoops up a handful of sand, smothering the flame of the startled human torch. Wow! Gotta find Rick fast. And the incredible Hulk begins to dig his way up to the surface. Come back here. I still got a few things I'd like to show you. We'll meet your topside thing. It'll be my pleasure, Doc. Come back here, you creep. What are you running away from? When I get my hands on you, I'm going to wrap you up in a paper sack and man you back to where you come from. The Hulk is the first to clear the surface where he is met by Mr. Fantastic. Oh, no, you don't. You and things are going to... You can't hold the Hulk. What's this for hold you for now? Look out! He's going to try to crush us with that lead sheet. Oh! Oh, Creed, darling. Are you hurt? Oh, just my leg. I'll be okay in a second. Enough. It is the wrecker I want. You are merely interfering. Race yourselves. So mighty are the arms of the Hulk that when he claps his hands together with full force... That ought to keep him out of action for a while. Now where's the thing? Right here, Green Man. Your number is up. It had to come to this, didn't it? And this time you ain't getting a jump on me. And so the two human behemoths meet in a head-on collision while the very earth trembles beneath them. I've been looking forward to this. No, I've got you. Slowly, inexorably, the larger Hulk lifts the raging thing off his feet as the mind-staggering battle rages to its climax. My pile driver punch is coming right down on you! Smash you to the ground like a bag of clay! Suddenly, a strange ray shoots out of the ground, debilitating the Hulk. Oh! Hulk! Hey, I didn't even land that punch! Some sort of ray came out of that tunnel. And zapped the Hulk right in the head. What? I've been robbed. I'll just rip a hole down to that tunnel. What is it, Neil? A giant robot. This must be the Wrecker's machine. Correction. It was the Wrecker's machine. Dr. Banner was right. It wasn't the Hulk doing all the damage. And I'll bet the wreck is right behind that huge iron door. I better go along, invisibly. 
Ah, so, I've been waiting for you. So, call court. You're the record. Look out. That's the weapon he just used. Don't worry, Rick. We'll get you out of here in a second. It is you who should be worried. This atomic power, the Raycon, will destroy your oil completely. It is now set at full energy. You'll never aim that horrible device again. <laughs> what happened? What happened is nothing like what's gonna happen to you. Here they are, Reed. What are you doing with Dr. Cork? Dr. My Eye. This guy here is the wrecker. What? So you're the saboteur. It must have been easy for you using that monstrous robot. Sure, everybody figured nobody but the Hulk could do all that damage. But where is the Hulk? Even as the question is raised, the mighty Hulk's body is recovering from the effects of the powerful ray. This talking, record capture, record safe. No reason to hang around here. And with one gigantic leap, the mightiest legs on Earth send the Hulk soaring upward. In that same place, a little time later... No sign of him around here. I just flew over the whole base and didn't see a trace of him. In a way, I'm kind of glad. Means he's recovered from the Wrecker's Ray and left under his own power. Well, I see you found your saboteur, Richards. Rick, you're all right. Hiya, Bruce. Yep, I'm in the pink. Yes, General, and Dr. Banner was right. How's that? All this damage was caused by Carl Court, not the Hulk. So what was I fighting him for? Reed, I'm grateful for your help. I hope we can meet again sometime under better conditions. So do I, Bruce. I think there's a lot we can talk about. Like you and Rick and the Hulk, for instance. Well, see you later. Goodbye, Rick. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you, Rick. Take it easy. Goodbye. Take it easy. Doc, do you suppose he suspects? Hard to tell. With a mind like Reed Richards, and I'm just glad he's on our side. Well, I guess we'll be shoving off, General. And as the Fantastic Car departs for New York City... A mighty figure stands alone on a hilltop, watching the scene. I got feeling this isn't last time we meet. Be listening again on Monday when the Fantastic Four face the horrible harassment of the hate monger. 